Hello, my name is Warren. So we're currently doing the logging into the Huawei B525's web user interface. This is where you're going to be doing your Wi-Fi settings and saving any additional administrative settings on your router. It's going to be a quick video where we just show you how to do this. If you're on this video, you probably come from our previous one where we've done the physical setup of the Huawei B5 to 5. And if you haven't come from that one and still need to do that physical setup, click on the link in the description below. We're going to show you how to do it before you actually come and do this setup. So without further ado, if you've gone there and you're back here now to come and do this setup, brilliant, let's move on. And let's get you guys set up. Here we go. Okay, so now that we've plugged in the um, router to the laptop via a LAN cable, we're now going to attempt logging into the router and going through the router setup for the first time. So with that, we're going to have a look at the um, picture on the bottom of our router that's going to give us the IP address that we need to log in, which is going to be 192.168.8.1. Hit enter and it should give us a login page for our router, which it does. Brilliant. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop in the default password that the router supplies us, which is on the bottom of your router, and we'll log in. Now you're going to be presented with a few options going through the setup of the router. Um, so when it comes to this, you do need to accept the Huawei Mobile Broadband Devices Privacy Notice, um, and we're going to click Next. And then we're going to agree to the user agreement. Um, now, with regards to this one, um, we have an option for overnight updates. We do not want to update this automatically. We're going to set it to manually updating um, because sometimes those updates do mess around with our um, APN settings and for getting internet access. So with any settings that you would have saved, updates might sometimes wipe those settings and we do not want that. So, um, what we're now going to do is we're going to set the wireless network name. Um, so we're going to change the wireless network name according to what we want to do. So mine is going to be Web Africa LTE. And I'm going to set myself a little password. We're going to make my password Workbench01. Why not? Um, so we're going to make that Workbench01. And that is going to be for my use specifically. Now, um, let's go next on that one. Um, so when it comes to setting the device login password, this is going to be to log on to the router. Now, the default one is going to be the word admin or lowercase. Um, or you could set it as the same as your Wi-Fi network password. I'm going to set it as the same as my Wi-Fi network password, just so that it's easier for me to log on to the router next time I need to make changes. So let's go ahead and click on finish. And we don't want to save that username and password. And this is going to be the Huawei interface that we are presented with. Now, um, in order to get internet access going, because currently we have the SIM card plugged in, and we have the router switched on, but we don't have internet access. Now, in order to get this going, we are going to need to save the APM. In order to do that, you're going to click on the network setting icon on the top or the word network settings. And then in this section below mobile network, you'll see internet connections already selected. And here you'll find the different profiles for your APN. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add an APN and our APN name can quite actually be whatever we want it to be. So I'm going to set my APN as the Web Africa. APN. And the rest of this information, username, password, does not need to be entered. You're then going to change the word, you're going to enter the APN in the APN field. Now, the APN for our connection is going to be W, apologies, ws.webafrica.fwa. Once you've got that typed in, you hit the save button. And that's going to take a few seconds to load. And based on that, we should in theory get internet access and we'll be able to determine this on our homepage. So let's go click on home. OK, 
Okay, so it seems like the page is taking a few seconds to load up before applying the settings. Sometimes your router does do a little reboot when you are applying these settings to the router, so we might need to give it a little bit of time. Okay, so that setting has now been applied, and if we go to the home page, we should now see that there's internet access, we have data going up and down, and we have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks also working out. So here we see the current speed profile that we're getting, or the downstream connectivity we're getting, and upload upstream connectivity we're getting. And what we're going to do is, while we're now connected, we're going to try running a quick speed test on speedtest.apologies.net. Okay, so here we see we're using a MTNLT connection through Web Africa, and we're now waiting for speedtest.net to identify the server that we're going to be testing to. It is taking quite a bit of a while, but it should find that server shortly. There we go. So we found the MTNSA server, and we're going to click our Go button, and we'll wait for that to test. Okay. So we are getting quite decent speeds, 32 megs per second on an LTE connection. And what we're now going to do is we're going to try and see if we can set the connection or network mode so that we can try and boost that signal speeds. So while that is finishing off the test, let's go back to the routers page. We'll go to network setting and then mobile network searching. Now, by default, your router is going to be set to pre to, to auto on preferred network mode, but we are going to change this to 4G only. So I'm changing it to 4G only, and that way we should be able to grab the faster mobile network coming in in my area. So we're waiting for that bit to save. It says that it's saved successfully. Now we're going to come back to the speed test page, try and reload this. And once it's reloaded and found the server, which it did straight away, we're going to hit go and see if there's any increase in our connection speed. Okay, so we are definitely seeing much better speeds on this connection. Remember, we were on about 32 megs per second early on, and here we're heading close to 60. So if you're ever having speed issues, sometimes it's good to force your router to connect to the faster network band by switching it to 4G only instead of 3G. Now, if you're on the router and you need to make changes to your wireless network settings, you can go to wireless or Wi-Fi basic settings, and this will allow you to make changes to your Wi-Fi network name and password as well. Um, so the password section is here on the bottom, and what you'll be able to do is once you've typed in your network name and password, you can click save. The more Wi-Fi settings section you'll find under advanced. And in this section, it will allow you to specifically set um, the channel for your Wi-Fi network. Sometimes this helps when you're having issues like slow speeds on Wi-Fi or when your connection is intermittent or dropping in and out. You'll be able to come here and set the channel. Now, when setting the channel, you kind of, it's like dialing into a radio station. So sometimes you have to try quite a few channels to see which one works best or which one gets the better signal for you. So sometimes you'll have to go through that whole list. Sometimes you'll just click the first one, save it, and then it works better for you. So with regards to Wi-Fi settings, please be advised to, to, to come to this section to actually do some, some troubleshooting of your own. Now, remember I was talking about um, the antennas that you're connecting up to your router? So, when connecting antennas to the back of your router, always make sure to come and change the antenna settings on your router itself. So that section is normally found um, in the system settings. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so here we go in system settings. We've got the antenna settings option. And if we click on the expand, we'll be able to set which antenna we're using. Now, by default, the router is set to auto. But sometimes we need to force it to use the external antenna and you can switch between internal, external and mix of antennas. So if you're using an external antenna, make sure that you come to this section and you apply um, the, the external antenna or save the external antenna. 
as the default antenna for um, getting internet access in. Other than that, that's going to be your whole setup. Let's go back to the home screen. Our connection should now be working fine. And that's it for your entire setup. Thanks so much for your time. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Also, leave a like on this video and um, subscribe to the channel. We are looking to put up a whole lot more helpful content on the channel to help both you, our customer, as well as your friends that are having issues on the connection. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers.